Hello YouTube and welcome to today's video which is kind of an account review and also a lesson for a lot of you early-ish players who are just beginning to Tree of Origin your heroes. Many of you might not realize there is one really big way to power creep your account and a lot of people don't realize the massive jump in power that's available to them as an early player. It works for any account, whether you're focusing on Transcendence Heroes, whether you're focusing on even just an LOEs, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and show you what that is. Today, we have an account, as you can see, which has two Transcendence Heroes. Very, very standard. So our friend here heard about LOEs being good, decided to try and build them as a homeowner, not realizing that actually because they had two Transcendence Heroes, the best thing they could have done was Sword Flash. But still, focusing on Sword Flash has been a priority. We have it at Tree of Origin 2, and that is really, really good. So this lovely Sword Flash here, built fantastically, quick crit attack. We've got Melodic Strings, Splendid, really, really standard build. And the rest of the artifacts actually on this account pretty nice as well. Weirdly enough, we have a Kiss of Ghost Glittery. I'm assuming this came from Bond Chests. Actually great for tenants though, gives attack and HP. We've got some other stuff, including a splendid Demon Bell. Very nice. Let's energy feed there for the Sword Flash. Echo of Death's lying around as well. We've got ourselves Demon Bell Splendid again. So that's two of them, which is pretty nice. We've got even uh, Fortress Flags for the Inosuke. And yeah, basically some pretty wild artifacts, including Glittery Golden Crown, actually, really solid for Eloise, of course. And then another Splendid Demon Bell here on ticks. So we've got three Splendid Demon Bells, which is super nice. And the Punisher of Immortal. So this account really does have a lot of what you'd expect from an account wanting to build a Sword Flash. But this is a Tree of Origin level 2 Sword Flash. And then I noticed in the bag when I was reviewing the account that we also happen to have... 175,000 Spiritual Essence and plenty of Stellar Shards because we've got a Void 4 Rogan, a Void 4 Eloise, loads of Stellar Shards sitting around. We've even got a Void 4 Lord of Fear Aspen. And it was at this point I realized there was a massive opportunity to boost the power. So what we're going to do today is exactly that. So what we're going to do is make this Sword Flash disappear from the account just for a moment. We have loads of soul symbols, so this is totally fine. So I need to remove her from whatever game modes she's in. Most likely she's everywhere. And um, okay, so we don't have a defensive lineup there. That's fine. I'm assuming Trial of the Champion, that's all closed. Star Arena, she might be in the defensive lineup. She is. So I'm just going to clear this out momentarily. We'll just leave Drake in there. You might need to fix this later, my friend. But what we're going to do is go ahead and make this sword flash just into anybody else. So I'm going to the replace feature here and I don't want to lose our stones. They're very, very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop in literally any of the heroes we have here. We have this 10 star Markman, so I'll use him just so we unlock a Markman copy, I suppose. And ah, sword flash is in the cloud island of course. So I need to remove her from the homes. Hopefully we have enough gems to do this. I'm hoping we do anyway. And um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So those gems have been taken off the account. And now we're going to go ahead to the evolution cube and we're going to go ahead and replace. So by popping in Mockman here and the Sword Flash, I'm going to get everything back on the Sword Flash without damaging the copy. We're going to keep the stones. We're going to keep everything. The only thing that's going to transfer is the 5 million crystals of transcendence. That also means that all of this, the stellar shards used to improve her, not only as a void hero, but as a tree of origin hero as well, including the spiritual essence, all comes back to us, which means now we're going to go ahead and start Tree of Origin improving heroes. You may see that there are lots of heroes we do not need on this account. Russell, Penny, we even have here a wall deck. I don't think they're going to be very useful on this account anymore. We could even get rid of Eloise if we wanted, as she is probably not as useful as she could be. I also know that our friend here has been struggling in the guild settlement against some of these opponents, mainly the one here in Fortress. So what we're going to do, we're going to beat that for them. So we're going to go to this penny right here, which we absolutely shouldn't have on a account this deep into the game. And we're going to go ahead and improve her all the way up. And there you go. She is now Void 4. Absolutely brilliant. So it's now our time to go into the Tree of Origin and start improving her here as well. So that's Tree of Origin level 1. We're going to quick upgrade this all the way to Tree of Origin level 2. Two, put in a 10 star for that break through it's cap one broken we'll do it again quick upgrade here is cap two broken break through that and now we're going to quick upgrade once again and we need another 10 star for cap three so let's go and see if we have any 10 star fodder heroes we do we got these light puppets right here 
So we go back to the penny, we go into the Tree of Origin, we enter, and we're going to smack through one more time, which is going to take her all the way up to cap three broken. Perfect. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade her all the way up to level 380. And because she is Tree of Origin 3, if I go to the Glory Challenge, we're going to get ourselves 200,000 Spiritual Essence. Very, very nice. And this is the trick of today's video, where because I had enough to make a Tree of Origin 3 hero, I've got ourselves even more resources. And we're going to do the same again for Shadow Abyss and dark and light and you should absolutely be doing this the moment you can get yourself a tree of origin 3 hero on your account either way first thing i absolutely need to do here is make sure she's got a nice damage dealing artifact i know ithaqua has a punisher of immortals so we will grab this maybe we can find some ranger gear on someone as well there you go and has got some and we're just going to slap that straight onto the penny with of course this punisher of immortal she's got crit crit attack and let's let her go do that guild settlement so ascension quest Penny versus Penny. Tree of Origin 3. She's probably going to one-shot this. Here we go. Boom. Dead. Absolutely dealt with. Very nice. And that was why they built the Penny. To beat that game mode. And I said, hey, did you go ahead and void improve the hero? They were like, no. Well, there you go. Sorted. What we're going to do now, of course, is go ahead and regress her. That's going to get us tons of materials back. And more importantly, we're going to get all of the materials used to Tree of Origin her back as well so now we can go ahead and make someone else so now it's time to make a rustle we could go ahead and do exactly the same thing here <laughs> we could give him a punisher and see what he's gonna do uh it's probably actually better i give him a melodic strings oh that'd be so satisfying i'm gonna yoink the melodic strings off seer and we're gonna go give it to him but that's not the reason i'm here i'm here because we need a light hero that is tree of origin level three so we're gonna go ahead and make him all the way up to that level starting off with Void 4. Now that we have a Void 4 Russell, it's time to go ahead and upgrade his tree. So of course, same thing as last time, quick upgrade, take it up, put in our 10 stars, that's going to be cap 1 broken. Same thing again, quick upgrade, take ourselves up, go ahead, put in 10 stars, cap 2, and of course guys, upgrade all the way up to cap 3. And with that, we now have a Tree of Origin 3 Russell, which means I can now go right back to the Glory Challenge and claim the rewards once again, getting us another 200,000 Spiritual Essence. Now with this boy, we're going to go in and see what we can do against Light Seal Land. And to make this even more fun, I'm literally just going to run these guys here. This might be not enough damage we'll have to see but who knows maybe with the melodic strings we're going to absolutely annihilate this he's in the air he gets hit boom oh <laughs> okay he died i'm surprised he still managed to clear that though that's well done to him did he not have like unbending will or anything uh no he, he just do we, we need michelle's we, we 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 need michelle's also we probably need to level this russell up so he's made up and look i made all these michelle's and, and andrea to level 100 so that should help it's probably gonna be way better and we'll probably get some CLM progress here which will be pretty fun so in go the michelle's in goes the andrea let's attack again is he gonna smash this he's in the air boom that's gonna be absolutely dead for sure there you go arrows doing all the work fabulous now here we go Let's try again. He's in the air, getting hit loads. Bang! Now we just need to deal with these little fellas. Shouldn't be too hard. Only one left. Russell's arrows should clean up. They absolutely do. Fabulous. Now we've got a mixture of the two. Again, you can imagine that's going to be a victory. And here we go with the boss fight. How's this one going to play out? Is this going to be a nice CLN 21 in the light faction? Uh, well, we definitely kill the boss. So now we've got to deal with the little guys. Oh, we might not do enough damage here. Unbending will getting triggered, and he's dead. All right, try that one again. Good luck, buddy. Might need to put energy on the Michelles, although I think they're just going to die way too fast anyway. And that was way better! Straight up killing the wave. Fantastic. How does he do against CLN 22? Is this going to be a... Oh, he's getting defeated. I can try a couple more times. Uh... Yeah, but either way, he did CLN 21. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh you know what considering i wasn't even imagining he was gonna do that i'm quite pleased now it's at this point of course we are going to go ahead and remove him from the account as he has done <laughs> probably the only thing he could probably do and uh, of course we're going to regress him getting us everything back and we need now to build a hero in the abyss faction or the shadow faction so our heroes here that we could go with eloise definitely an option 
Uh, we could go with Tix. We could go with Ithaca, Jara. I think... Eloise could do seal on 25. Right, now it's time to go ahead and Tree of Origin this Eloise. And this is the real fun part, because we should be able to get this Eloise really high. And by really high, I think we might even get a Tree of Origin 5, and we should be able to do a seal on 25 clear on this account. Just because we have loads of resources thanks to all the Tree of Origin spiritual essence we've managed to get on this account. So let's see if we can actually do that. So we'll take her up. Cap 3 is now broken. Okay, keep going. How high can we go with this? 80, sure. Go and add some more stuff. There you go. Cap 4, of course, that's broken. And again, can we get to 100? Yes, we can, and I have very, very few of our spiritual essence. But she is Tree of Origin 5, which is very nice. So already we've gone from a Tree of Origin 2 hero to a Tree of Origin 5 hero. Absolutely bonkers and that's what you can do on your account just using these resources right here now you might wonder why i don't level her all the way up to level 120 and then give her you know well get us even more rewards from the glory challenge but we physically can't do that on this account because we don't have enough to go that far i wish we did that would mean we could do some insane progress but we're not able to do that right now and that's fine that's totally normal so we are just going to level her up to level 400 and we're going to put together a team which should be able to go ahead and push in the seal land now fortunately i think she is a homeowner so if i go ahead and take a look oh she absolutely is and the houses here on the sword flash i'm going to actually reset them all getting us everything off them and by doing that we can go ahead and upgrade eloise's homes now look what we've got here! You've got the Cloud Island chest from the Glory Challenge, and that gives you everything inside of it, so... Let's just open that and get all this stuff as well. And look, we got Master's Toolboxes as well. So we have a ton of those put on the account, so it's not even going to be an issue. Yeah, this is fantastic. Look at all that progress. Absolutely tons. There you go. And let's go ahead and send in our lovely, lovely Eloise to Seal Land now and see what she can do. Now the team is going to be... A little funky. We've got some Tixes here, which is great to use, but also you want to be using Annabelle's because when Annabelle dies, she's going to disrupt your opponent's ability to kill you. So we're going to be adding in a few Annabelle's to help here as well. So we'll be using a big Tix. We'll be using baby Annabelle's. So it's three Annabelle's, I think, should be more than enough. Eloise will absolutely make sure it's built properly. Yep, attack HP. She's got a golden crown glittery. This is great. We'll make sure we've got some energy artifacts on our heroes as needed. Demon Bell Splendid. That's nice. Attack, attack on ticks. Perfect. Ithaqua is just going to be a tenant for us. So I'll just slap uh, pretty much... Oh, where's, the, where's that Kiss of Ghost gone? You surprisingly had. Didn't you have a Kiss of Ghost? Wasn't that a somebody yeah that was on aspen great <laughs> i'm gonna put that on um on one of the heroes that was a tenant who we're not gonna be using in this fight so it could be carry uh, that's fine so yeah she can wear that uh she's got attack attack as well great choice with your tenants by the way really nice uh this is gonna take a we'll just go with the flag here that also gives stats and then finally jar over here she's just gonna take echo death gives 18 punish of a morsel gives 21 more attack on that and then you know what ticks He's not going to wear Demon Bell. He's going to wear Melodic Strings. Perfect. So he's built nicely. And if I wanted to, I can also improve his imprints. Let's have a look. Oh, absolutely. So I might as well do that. We're on... We can get $2 million. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Whilst we're doing this, this Rogan over here, absolutely going to take his imprints off. So we can go ahead and void for this ticks. Just for a better active skill. And there you go, that's gonna be a Void 4 ticks with a lovely melodic strings here. That should be enough to do decent enough progress here. I'm also gonna make sure these Annabelles at least have something on with the Demon Bells, just in case they wanna go ahead and use their active skills. It's unlikely that they will get active skills, but I don't wanna be walking around with heroes that could potentially build properly and then not. So we've got Tixes here with magic sources wow so we could use those as well that's kind of crazy where are other of the demon bells and there's one on rogan so i will steal this and there was another one and that's on drake oh perfect so all the annabelles are going to be wearing demon bells that's quite humorous so we'll make sure they're equipped with those excellent and yeah this one as well and then one of the Tixes has magic source that's totally fine so let's go to seal land now i'm gonna see if we can get seal land 25 beaten here should be pretty good. So we've got Eloise, we've got Tix, and then we've got one baby Tix, and then the Annabelles. Here we go, folks. Let's go see how this plays out. We'll use, I think we'll start off with Phoenix, 
just for a bit of extra damage. Let's see what happens. Should be pretty easy. There we go, Annabelle's doing their thing. And Eloise, you can see her healing is incredible here, and she is just chunking away through these opponents. I think it's going to be an easy, easy clear. Yeah, there's Phoenix. Yeah, no problem at all. Nicely done. So I think we can skip battle on these. I'll buy us a few attempts here, and we'll go ahead and skip battle on this one. It should be fine. And now comes the boss fight. This is going to be the harder one. Let's go see what happens. So, obviously getting hit by these little guys allows us to counterattack. Tix has put his marks out. That one's out there, and oh, this is going to get brutal. Oh, yep. Yeah. Eloise, keep it up. If that boss dies, that's a ton of damage from Tix. Oh, he's already taken a chunk. Oh, the end of the round. Everything's going to fall over. Oh, come on, Eloise. Get it. There it is. Big damage. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That's CLN24 beaten here. Let's see if we can skip through these. Yep. Win. Win. Oh, my word. First time. And here we go, CLN25 with an Eloise, right? We went from Tree of Origin 2 to Tree of Origin 5. Look at this. Bonkers. All it took was a few symbols. Now, Eloise does need to break free from this crowd control. She does. It was a bit of a low roll there, but she should be able to heal herself back up if we're lucky. Oh, it's going to be a close one. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, that crowd control was very brutal on her. So next thing I just want to double check is she has control purify. Yes, she does. Now her HP, not as high as it could be. So at this point, I'm actually going to switch her to vitality just so she can hopefully live a little bit better. We'll send ourselves with one more attempt back in and hopefully that's a seal and 25 clear. The first seal and 25 clear this account has ever done. If we're lucky. <laughs> Let's hope it works. All right, here we go. Ticks. Ooh, marking one of the little guys. That's really good. He should die very quickly, causing a cascade of damage. Ticks is passive. Very nice. So, oh, we need to break free from that control. Oh, that was not fair. That was not fair at all. So, yeah, it all comes down to crowd control now, folks. Are we going to be lucky? Now, you say damage over time, Purify. Yep, that's true. But I uh, do also want to be able to break free from crowd control, so there's kind of this wonderful tango between the two I have to find. Ideally, you know, we might have to put damage over time purify just to live, but yeah, the control purify is also really, really important. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try damage over time purify. I'm not expecting a miracle. Also, dude, I've just realized we haven't got shelter on. That's massive. So we're going to put that in. We could go with Brazilians for the healing. No. Oh, we should go with Vitality. That increases our effect of being healed. That's way better. Why was that not on sooner? Silly me for oversighting that. And then, yeah, I'll go damage over time, Purify. Hopefully that works. If we get CC'd, that sucks. And we'll just see how this plays out. We haven't been controlled yet. There it is. Oh, it's at this moment. I wish we had Control Purify. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That was way better. The Vitality healing was great. So I was right. The only thing we needed was the added heals. We didn't need damage over time purify at all. If we'd have had it as control purify, I think we'd have won that last fight. Let's try again. Come on, Eloise. Good. Control purify already helping us here. Eloise's heals. Come on. She gonna beat this? Oh, no, she CC'd. Oh, she, full heal. Oh, that's massive. Oh, the healing's huge. Oh, we should get a kill here. Come on. They should drop here at the end of the round. Or at least some of them. Come on. There it is. One's down. Already better. Come on. Oh, so close. Right, Eloise, this has got to be the one now. Come on. Control Purifier already being clutch. Oh, they're breaking us free. We need to heal, though. Come on. Vitality, heal us back up. Slowly, we're getting there. Oh, there's the heal. I'm betting we'll got triggered. That's fine. Come on. The ticks marks, even on the best ones. It's on the little guys there on the bottom. Oh, that's one dead. That's massive. Oh, she's got this. Surely. Surely. Oh, break free, Eloise. Oh, the CC. Oh, wow. That, that was very close. 
I feel at this point we can build her a little more aggressively. Maybe I can even switch to those attack enables just to give her a bit more damage. We might get the pressure on. The front line is there with the ticks marks. That's okay. Come on, Eloise, keep up the pressure. Don't get CC'd. That's it. Keep it coming. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, this feels like it's going to be the one. Absolutely. Great active skill. Already the enemy's taking a lot of damage there. Just need to trigger the passive kills from ticks. That's great. One's already gone through. Here we go. That's big. Oh, that's huge damage. Let's go. Come on. Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh, and that is a seal and 25 clear for our friend here. Oh, beautiful. Massive, massive progress made. That's fantastic. And that means we no longer need Eloise on this account so we can finally regress her as well. So we just need to take her out of the home, of course. So let's go ahead to there and remove her. So, of course, we're going to click on her now, take her out. She has been removed. So it's at this point, of course, we're going to go ahead and regress her if I have enough backspace, which we don't. So we do need to tidy things up real quick as currently the bag is full of the collateral from all the other stuff we've destroyed. So we need to rebuild probably a nine star light hero just to compress our fodder. I see an Andrea, another one. Do we have another one? No, we don't. Uh, we could build up a Vulcan if we really wanted to. Maybe it's a nine star Russell just to hold the food. That's also viable. So, of course, that Russell that we destroyed, he can come back as we do need to build a hero. And it's nice to rebuild him as he was our first uh, E5 on this account. So it's good to have him back as an honorary hero, as a nine star. That's good. That's going to compress our light hero food as well. And then, of course, the Penny. We could totally rebuild her to 10 star. Not going to use her copies anymore. Totally, you can use her as food. So I would be really comfortable doing that. Um, so, yeah, if you ever need to use a 10 star fodder, you now have a Penny that can totally be thrown in the bin. Good stuff. Okay, now, of course, we have all that backspace so we can convert this Eloise by regressing her. That's going to get us back all of our Tree of Origin stuff, which should be more than enough to go ahead and build Sword Flash. Oh, yeah, that's right. So just going to double check that we haven't got any ways of getting more of these Glory Challenge rewards. Nope. So, of course, we go here and we need to, first of all, build ourselves a Sword Flash. All right, there we go, folks. We have made ourselves a Tree of Origin 5 Sword Flash. Absolutely juicy girl. And we're going to go ahead and make her level 400. Perfect. Whopping improvement there. Let's go get our melodic strings off those heroes that were in the Shadow Faction. Or we'll just strip them out completely. That's probably the best way to do this. Yeah, it's good. Get all that back. And of course, go double check that we have our Annabelle resources back as well. Because of course, they're wearing our Demon Bells, which just won't do. So we'll get that out and yoink off this guy as well. And there you go. Now we need to go to Sword Flash, give her the Melodic Strings, and already she's on 1.2 million attack. She's not even in a home right now. That's pretty nice. And we need to make sure that we have Stellar Shards external. We do, actually. We have Void 4 on this Ticks. So yeah, we're already... Let's go see how high we can make this Aspen. I want to go with Tree of Origin 2. I think that's going to be the improvement here for us. So we'll do this. We'll go ahead and put in a 10-star hero, confirm and break. There you go. That's Cap 1. And we're going to improve him again. And that's going to be Cap 2 right there. And you guys, Tree of Origin level 2. So we'll level him up all the way up to... 370. Let's see if he's got like a oh, he's got attack HP. Great for a tenant. Really nice. Uh, also, because he's a tenant, we could give him literally anything and he'll do well. I'm just going to give him a crown though. Ideally, you want a Rui Scepter. So if you can get yourself a Rui Scepter, if you haven't already got one, that's going to be huge for Aspen. Uh, but we'll put crown on him for now. And yeah, that's going to work out real nice. And of course, we have a Void 4 Ticks right here, which is not actually needed anymore. So we're going to yoink all that stuff off. And now I would rather, I think, use your Stellar Shards to do some optimal voiding. So a Rogan here, really good decision. Go ahead and make him, as I'm doing right now, we're going to make him Tree of Origin 3. For anyone who's a Sword Flash main, if you're using her as your homeowner, you absolutely want to try and have, if you're using Rogans to support her, which you should be doing with probably at least one, you want them at Tree of Origin 3. That's going to allow them to be very, very reliable with their buff. You might even need to go ahead and improve their speed on this node here at the end if you're trying to energy feed them, at least energy feed the sword flash that is, with a demon bell. 
Uh, most of the times, though, you should be energy feeding her with an Ignis if she's got Melodic, so you should be totally fine. You should not need that. It's only if she's got a Punisher and you want that early active. Anyway, of course, the Swordplash needs a skin. Yes, let's go give her that skin. Is it legendary? Oh, it is. Nice. So it's the Campus Idol skin. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Do we have a skin for Lord of Fear Aspen as well? Uh, no, that's fine. You can get the Ace skin, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, eventually, if you can in your guild. But um, there you go. Massive improvement. We've already got some Stellar Shards sitting around. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, we got choices. Who do we put them on? I think your best tenant available to you outside of the ones we've already got is probably going to be this Anosuke because he's got attack attack and he's going to be wearing a fortress flag. So I'm just going to give him ranger gear that well, actually used to belong to Eloise, funnily enough. And we're going to go ahead and give him imprint levels just so he's got some stats on him so that's nice we'll put this in here we'll take him up and i'll probably take him to imprint level two i think that's the most comfortable as he's going to get the most out of this if he's got a flag and then i would use this 10 star here just so that when you're in the void arc you actually have a good leveled up hero and then the rest of your stuff we've got enough now still if we wanted to to go ahead and make another tree of origin three heroes so if you make another rogan which you can still absolutely do you can go ahead and make that tree of origin three as well or if you wanted you could upgrade carry it's up to you really oh you could go and continue to do the rest of your tenants i will leave that entirely down to you though but one little thing i will say this sherlock you don't need him anymore as aspen is going to be in his tenant slot so you've got one two three four five six holmes youngs here seven eight nine in the bag i would go ahead did i say did i say void three not tree three i meant void three I'm at Void 3. Sorry, guys. You could go ahead and use those nine copies of Home Jung to make a E5 Home Jung by swapping out Sherlock. Do it? Make it? Yeah, I think we should. I think that's going to be massive for you. So let's do it. Of course, as you guys have seen, we have loads of stones on this account. We've still got 85, so that's brilliant. Of course, when we get enough spiritual lessons, if we wanted to go and do a lot of this again, if he decides to get rid of Sword Flash, drop that out. Totally could go ahead and go ahead and get even more from the glory challenge that'd be quite nice but yeah no i think the best option here of course is to go ahead and let's get this sherlock swapped so we're going to convert that should be pretty good so replace sherlock becomes e5 holmes young very nice you got all your sherlock copies back and here we go we have ourselves a holmes young leveled up one cool thing you can do with that holmes young is you can take him into the fortress seal and with sword flash and you might even find that you're able to just absolutely dominate here you might even beat this final boss I'll leave that for you to go ahead and try yourself, though. And let's go finish up today by hopping into the Celestial Island, going to the Cloud Island, and of course, putting our Sword Flash back in. Now that she's here, we can put in Aspen, we can put in Fiona, we can put in Anosuke, and finally, we'll go with Gloria. And there you go, that's going to be a whopping 829,000 more attack put onto your Sword Flash. And you can take these homes even higher if you use your resources. My advice, focus on the central market. So whenever you get yourself a little resource box that may look a little bit like this one down here, focus on Rock as that's going to go ahead and improve him. He is the strongest tenant that you have for this Sword Flash. So always go for the Rock just like this. That means when you go into the Celestial Island, you can go to the Cloud Island and improve his home specifically. So whenever you have an option to choose, that's what you should focus on because more stats coming from him are actually going to be more beneficial for Sword Flash because if you look, the bonuses he's giving are way larger than your other tenants and that's because he's not only the highest leveled up one because he's Tree of Origin 2, he also is of course a Transcendence Hero which has naturally inflated stats anyway. So just worth bearing that in mind. But there you go, guys. We've made a ton of progress today, all just from a Tree of Origin 2 hero and using the Glory Challenge. So it was an opportunity for me to show you just how to do that optimally on your accounts to make yourself a really huge Sword Flash. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be Sword Flash. You could have done it with Eloise, any hero. But this one's at a whopping 2.15 million attack now. And that's a B-, minus, but that's mainly on speed. I reckon you could maybe find yourself a better Sword Flash. Heck, you might even want to use your B- minus stone if you've got one. Oh! I assume you've already opened it. Never mind. Um, you probably want to get an Awaken on Lord of Fear Aspen, to be honest. That'd be really good. So maybe consider going ahead and grabbing that. Maybe you've got some story gems in the auction house or something. I don't know. You might find something good. Look for anything that uh, gives him control immunity offset. That's pretty solid. Also, 
Get him a Rui Scepter to make him nice and fast and improve his crowd control, and he will only continue to benefit you. Focus your sublimation on that Sword Flash for maximum damage, and you will absolutely go off. So, yeah, folks, hope that was a lot of fun for you. Hope that's taught you something. When you get enough resources to get to a Tree of Origin 3 hero, don't forget that's 233,000 Spiritual Essence. But when you do get to that point, you can give your account way more resources, which is even enough to take you all the way up to Tree of Origin 5. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. And of course, happy island.